Good afternoon. We're actually heading to Bakewell today. Never heard of it, but apparently it's the home of the Bakewell tart. So it's the home of the Bakewell tart. So you want to get a Bakewell tart, don't you? Oh yeah, definitely. You've got to in Bakewell. I don't know what stone is the home of, but... Oat cake. Oh no, that's no, stone. it's not. Right, but yeah, you're, you're in Staffordshire. You get stone. oat cakes. What is stone it's the home of? It's a market town. It's not the home of anything. Canal town? It's yeah, a canal it's a town. market. Well, it's not considered canal. a market town, though. It's it considered... Is. If you go on with Well, no, media, it's a canal stone. town. All it's right. a canal town. It passes for a market. And we're heading to see Josh's friends. That's the original reason. We're not going to Bakewell to try a Bakewell tart. <laughs> I can't do it because my other hands. It's Makaton for friends. So Josh's friends from London are there. Why are they there again? They've gone to the Lake District. No, no. So one of them lives in Sheffield with his girlfriend. And um, two of my other friends are going up to visit. And they're going for a walk around the Peak District. And... Bake, where they're walking is near Bakewell, so they're going to Bakewell for lunch after, because it's only an hour from us. Oh, your, your description's We're really long. We're going to meet them. Friends are meeting friends and walking and going for lunch. Yeah. Callow, at the minute, do the sign for friends, Makaton for friends. Every time you say Luffy now, she does that, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. When I pick her up from nursery, I'm like, is, we're going to go see Luffy. Friends. <laughs> friends. We're here. It was a really, really long journey. It felt like ages, even though it was only an hour. Hey, Squid, are you going to say hello? We're going to get out. Um, but it was really pretty, and there was so many nice buildings, but it looks like we stepped back in time. It's beautiful here, but I'll show you in a minute. Let's get you out first, Squid. Yeah. Right, you hold that a minute. It's, it is filming. I need to lift the road through. <laughs> do you just live for a tea room? Sorry? Do you live for a tea room? It depends if they're lardy or not. Lard. Who do It's well cute round here. It's so cute. So, so cute. <laughs> you want put in? It's cold, isn't it? Hey? Get you some gloves in them in, because Josh keeps losing all your gloves. Hey. Hey, doesn't he? Hair's a bit messy. Do you want to sit on that chair there? Daddy, could you put her on her chair, please? Do you want to sit on your own chair? Wait. Yeah. What have you got? Yeah, it's a little bucket with sugars in. Is it taking two or is that just one? It's two. Oh, shit. It doesn't matter, just leave them. Yeah, because I thought I'd have a quicker shutter speed. And then... Stop shouting. No more shouting. You blow raspberry, go. We just come down a little alleyway and found this. What's it for though? Just to see. Yeah. <laughs> she literally looks like a munchkin. No, get out of that, because then oh, we can learn it. Okay. What do you think? Oh, they okay. I got a baked roll tart. It's in here. You just love this stuff, don't you? Yeah. Little birds on sticks. And... It is. <coughs> oh, that's look. We've made our first ever discovery on our lard journeys of a. Oh, it's not even focused on me. Focus on me. On a Lardy Antiques shop. Still not focused. Yeah. Lardy Antiques shop. Honestly, right, it's like back it in a minute. Lardy. Back in a minute, I'm going to clean that. Yeah, we found a Lardy Antiques shop. There you go. It was the most large, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like, it smelled left, like lard. It smelled All like the objects lard. were Lardy. 
I didn't think you could get lardy jewellery, but you definitely can. Through Gardens, the Bakewell yeah. Craft and Gift Fair. Ooh. I don't know if it's on today, but the signs are up for it. Oh god, the camera angle is all over the place there. Little girl, are you excited? No? Okay. We've come to the wheat sheaf so we can get Callow something to eat. She was cold, she needed food. Now she's raging. Yeah, they're all gone, aren't they? Wanna read your book? It's your new book. Wait for me, little tiger. Tiger. Careful, I don't want those to go anywhere. So I'll put them here, okay? Because I don't want you to knock them off. <laughs> Nom. Oh, yes. Thank you. Do you have um, little knives and forks for kids? Or? No, don't worry, that's fine. It's really weird. Really? Like, why would you do kids' meals and not have the kids' knives and forks? Can I sit on your one? Whee! I mean, that's a big kids' meal. You'll be alright with that, won't you? Oh, big sandwich. You eat it. You excited for yours, Angel? <laughs> Hello, look. Oh. You do it, go boo. Boo. <laughs> you cheeky girl. Boo. Oh dear. Come on, off the floor. Stand up. Good girl. Wait, we all fall down. A tissue, a tissue. We all fall. No. Oh God. Come on, on my hand. We're just on a rush on the way back to the car now because our car park ticket runs out in like probably 10 minutes now and we don't want to get a fine again because that's how we met Kieran and Caitlin we got a fine <laughs> so I don't want the same thing to happen but yeah it was lovely seeing them all again I didn't I never film anything when we're with like friends because it's like unless it's friends we're with all the time then it's different but when it's friends you don't see very often it's not about getting the camera out and filming everything I want it to be like we're just all chatting and catching up, do you know what I mean? Ah, but yeah, so we didn't film anything, but it was nice. Are you okay, Squid? Oh, oh you okay? Oh. I swear she's heavier now than she was earlier. Callow's tired. That'd be so much fun in a kayak or something. <laughs> Callow's done. Honestly, amazing well. Wow. Not like she doesn't usually. She's always amazing, but she just... Oh, she's just so, she's such a good girl. She just makes us dead proud. Because you know sometimes you go out and you see little shits. <laughs> no, I never think that because kids can be and it's not that they're always little shits. It's just they can be in a bad mood. But generally, she's just so good and she was so nice. And it's always really nice because they're our friends. They're Josh's childhood friends, or well, two of them. But they're like our oh, London friends. Like we lived with Kieran and Caitlin for ages in London. Um, I think it was a year or something. I don't know if it was over. It might have been a year and a bit. I can't really remember. It's nice now because now we've got Callow. It's nice introducing like her to them and them getting to know her. Have we got a ticket? Oh, thank fuck I thought that was on the car was a ticket. <sighs> thank God I put my bloody beret on. It was freezing out there. It's been cold, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, really cold. I'd definitely say it's more of a spring summer thing, isn't mm. it? Coming here. Like, it's really nice for anyone that lives locally to us in Stone, Stafford, Stoke Way. 
or anyone that lives further north because it's not far for them. or london because they came from london it was only two hours on the train i won't come two hours on the train just to do this though oh no no like you'd be disappointed be like if you weren't seeing like if kieran and caitlin drove caught two hour train all the way here just to come here they do i think they may have been a little bit disappointed it's beautiful there's loads of little cute shops and little cafes and bars and restaurants like it's really really cute really you need that like, summer like you said yeah you need it to be summer so you can leisurely walk around and explore things yeah not when we're in the middle of a, like two storms as well yeah because it's like really really windy and cold so you're kind of like darting from place to place Precinct but generally it's a really lovely area and like the it would be like a proper good instagram place if you wanted to get loads of instagram photos yeah. you could couldn't you here and we didn't get any today we got a few in a cafe didn't we but we didn't get any because yeah. it was just too cold it was bloody too cold but yeah it's really cute all the buildings are beautiful look at that over there we said we'll come back yeah i think that's the showground isn't it oh you mean this building yeah, yeah that's cool so we're on our way home now we're just leaving bakewell we just got back and this is the child bomb that's just gone off in the house so this is the mesh made this morning wasn't it chicken that's the new table and chairs you've got isn't it so i ordered this from argos yesterday so she's got a little table and chairs haven't you so you know that we can put your high chair away now are oh, you climbing you shouldn't do that should you yeah, that's the thing when you've got kids, like tidying up's just like one of those things that you just do for the fun of it because you know two minutes later it's going to be messy again. I've just got naked, well, undressed and put my dressing gown on because um, that's obviously what I do. I can't be in the house clothed ever. Oh, my legs hurt so much. I did. I only did 50 squats last night and it's killed my legs. My thighs feel like dead tight on the top, like I'm sore. Oh. Well, Josh said last night, yesterday. <laughs> Should we get her a little table and chairs and put away a high chair? And it was like one of those things like, why haven't we done that before now? Because we always have trouble with her in a high chair. She won't eat in it. And she always stands up in it. And it's really annoying because obviously it's dangerous for her to stand up. So uh, we ordered that and that's come today. So it's going to be our first day eating dinner with on a table and chairs. I feel really sick though. The journey home was really horrible. It was a very Wales journey. Like if you've ever driven to or from Wales, like really, really hilly and like... You know, when the, it's like this, just constant like that. It made me feel so sick, so I'm still up ill now, so I think I'm gonna have to lie down. Um, hey. I need a glass of water though. I think I might go get a big glass of water. <gasps> That's your new book. Do you want to show them your new book? It's a uh, first words. And it's got all, all these objects, so cute. I opened this book early. It was actually on this page and she pointed to this brown rabbit over here. And without any prompting, I didn't even know if she could say it. She went, wabbit. I was like, yes, a rabbit. She wants me to come sit with her, but she can eat it on her own. Good girl. Look at her little hair, so cute. So we're gonna have a try of a traditional, traditional <sighs> Bakewell tart. From bloody Spots. Bakewell. Oh, that's all. I mean, Ready? Ooh. Go on, your tart try first. Of the traditional Bakewell tart from Bakewell. Yeah, that's good. That's not as good. They wouldn't appreciate that bit of, um, What's it called? Marketing, would they? Oh, yeah, it's good. I mean, I would have preferred the one with icing and a cherry on. Hmm. Try another bit. Maybe it was just that bit. It's a bit lardy. Mm -mm. That's not for me. No. That doesn't even taste like cherry. It's not meant to be. Cherry Bakewell tart. That's the one with the thing on the top. No, it's called a cherry Bakewell, it's isn't it? It's called a Bakewell tart. Oh, uh, no. The cherry Bakewell is the one with the icing and the cherry on. Mm. And, and that like doesn't icing. have cherry in. But normally if you order a Bakewell tart, it at least has like a bit of cherry jam. in, doesn't it? Like jam in it. Yeah, yeah that that's a cherry any. Bakewell. Mm, I'm not a fan. What even is this? 
I don't know, what is it? It tastes all right though. Oh my God. Well, what is it? Like, let me smell it. Cheer. What? It smells better than it tastes. It smells like my great nuns. Oh, get that off my arm, please. It smells like my great nuns of coconut cakes, but it tastes weird. It tastes a bit lardy. Mm. I mean, go to Bakewell, it's beautiful, but just don't mm. get a Bakewell tart. <laughs> Not from the shop we got it from, anyway. Yeah.